Alright guys, it is an absolutely spectacularly gorgeous, over the top beautiful day. Here in the collapse of everything at Bugs in a Jar Farm in New York, baby, on this glorious Tuesday afternoon, August 13th, where it is 73 degrees with a mild summer breeze blowing through the flowers uh, and I am just sitting here watching the world go by and uh, so I was having a hard time uh, deciding what long-winded rant to do chronicle of the collapse to do today on this gorgeous day so uh, I'm just going to so instead I'm doing three Cliff Notes versions, and uh, you know, I have not had my good buddy Elliot Jacobson on uh, on this show in a while because I just figure that anyone who listens to me is probably listens to Elliot as they should be anyway. But uh, I was going to do a deep dive into Elliot Jacobson's latest uh, data doom filled. Uh, essay uh, that that he he has written, but we are going to uh, stick with the Cliff Notes version. Uh, this I got in my Collapse Chronicles email box because I'm signed up to receive these, and this is Elliot's the the short version of his essay today from uh, Watching the World Go By, spelled B-Y-E, Watching the World Go Bye-Bye. Uh, so anyway, uh, I'm just going to, instead of, I, I'm just going to read the, uh, the email uh, that I received from Elliot uh, linking us to the full, I, I'm going to put the link to that full-blown article and you can get all the doom data that you need for the day, but we're going to encapsulate it uh, into this introductory email leading into it that Elliot has titled, The Long and Winding Road to CO2E. CO2E. Greetings. It's been a long time since I sent out a notification about a new blog post on my site, but this one is worth it. It's not about doom or some crazy climate issue that needs attention. It's simply me geeking out on a number which is what I enjoyed most in my life for many decades as a professional mathematician. So Elliot is, he loves to crunch numbers and we love him for it. So uh, what numbers are you crunching today, Elliot? What is the number? It is CO2E or CO2 equivalent the current atmospheric level of the totality the totality of greenhouse gases if each you know all if, if we if, if we paid attention to all of them until this co2 if each were converted to an equivalent amount of co2 it is a way of measuring the current state of warming compared to the pre-industrial baseline. I'm pretty sure, although it's not mentioned in this email, that right now the CO2 measurement at Mount Aloha, uh, well, what did Robert Hungzerker on August 2nd, was right at 425 parts per million, which is a little over three parts per million 
more than it was a year ago. Uh, okay. Back to Elliot. Here is a spoiler. So if you if you don't have time to take a deep dive, here is the bottom line at the bottom of the numbers crunching. Here is a spoiler at the end, at the end of his long blog post, taking all warming into account, the number comes out to be about 560 parts per million. 560 parts per million, not the 425 doomsday number that Robert Hunsaker was talking about in his rant two days ago. 560 parts per million. Given that pre-industrial CO2 was about 280 parts per million, that is double, double, and the fact that it is double is crazy because that implies future warming of at least 3 degrees C, maybe 5 degrees C. To paraphrase James Hansen is already in the pipeline. And there you go. I'm, uh, I, I would love to hear uh, Michael Mann having a heart attack trying to refute uh, the number crunching uh, that uh, Elliot, the former math professor, has laid out for anyone to read. So put on your math hat and please enjoy the long and winding road to CO2E. And uh, as I say, I will put the uh, I will put the link onto it. Let's uh, let's read the opening uh, paragraph to the li long and winding road to CO2E. If a calcul if a calculation is correct, then all roads should lead to the same answer. That is, unless the road is a ditch, a dead end, or a cliff. And so, let us begin our pothole-filled journey together on the road to computing the current value of CO2E, otherwise known as CO2 equivalent, the current atmosphere level of the totality of greenhouse gases, if each were converted to an equivalent amount of CO2. In all of what follows below, I was guided by trying to reconstruct the computation published by NOAA showing CO2E equals 523 parts per million as of May 22. Spoiler alert, I failed, kind of. <laughs> yes, uh, so forget uh, 523, actually 560. And uh, and growing, but anyway, I'm gonna get out there and enjoy breathing 560 parts per million equivalent of CO2 as I crank up my gas sucking uh, lawnmower on this spectacularly gorgeous day and do my part to uh, spew. CO2 emissions into the air, but I think I'm out of gas 
so I have to crank up my gas sucking truck to head to the chainsaw shop to get some of that planet saving ethanol free gas to put in my gas sucking lawnmower so uh, I can get ready for the busy weekend coming up at the vacation rental business while I still can. Bye guys.